Hey YouTube, welcome to Plan Build Play. Today I have a quick shop upgrade for you. Some of the fluorescent lights in my shop burnt out, so I'm going to be upgrading them to LEDs. So for workshop lights, there's a lot of options out there. Standards, obviously, your fluorescent two-bulb fixture. And those have a ballast in them to start up the fluorescent lights. Something else that would fit in that is these LED bulbs. But these require the ballast to be removed. I'll show you how to do that later in this video. Uh, this is a 28 watt bulb. This is an 18 watt bulb. And they produce about the same or more uh, light output. Also, if you, you have a two foot option for something like a, a bench light. And then if you don't want a fixture, these are integrated lights. And they just plugged in directly using a cord. And then with both the fixture bulbs and the integrated bulbs, they usually come in a frosted or clear bulb options. Some of the advantages of the um, bulbs and the fixtures is they don't flicker, they don't have a any buzzing noise, and especially in cold weather, they start up instantly, unlike uh, fluorescent bulbs. They can also save a lot of electricity. So now I'll show how to remove a, a ballast from a fluorescent fixture. So the first step is you're going to want to unplug the fixture and remove the old bulbs. Next, there's usually two screws on the ends to get access to the ballast. Let's remove those. After that, this insert in the middle should pop out. Just lift it up. And there's the ballast that needs to be removed. The next step is cutting all the wires to the ballast. Make sure you cut them as close to the ballast as you can so you have extra wire to make all your connections. After that, remove the ballast entirely. And that's just, there's one bolt right here. After removing the ballast, use a pair of wire strippers and strip about half an inch of wire on each of the, the wires on the side that has the, the cord. LED lights only need to be powered from one side, so on the other side you can actually just cut them and tape them. After that, use the common yellow, and that will go to your, your ground, or neutral. And then the hot wire will go to the red and blue wires. So if you look at the connections, one wire should go to each, the white and the black. Once you have everything wired up, use some electrical tape around your wires. Uh, I used these crimp in uh, connections. You can also use wire nuts and then just tape them real good and make sure they don't come out. After you have everything put back together, install one of the bulbs. A good way to test out that your wiring works is to use a surge protector. That way, if anything does short out, you can turn it off right away 
and it also won't uh, trip your, your circuit breaker or fuses. Now that I have the fixture reinstalled, here's a quick comparison of the light output of the different bulbs. The first comparison is between the fluorescent and the Hyper Icon LED bulb. This bulb does require the uh, ballast to be removed, like I just showed how to do. So on the left is the LED bulb, and on the right is the fluorescent bulb. Not sure how well this shows on camera, but uh, the LED bulbs are a little bit brighter than the fluorescent. The next comparison is between the LED bulb that re requires the ballast to be removed, and this one is actually a direct replacement. So you can just remove a fluorescent bulb and plug this one back in. So on the left is the bulb that requires the ballast to be removed, and on the right is the direct replacement. On the right it is a bit brighter, but that bulb actually uses 50% more power than the one on the left. So the left is 18 watts and the right is 28 watts. <clears throat> one other tip is if you do rem remove the ballast, make sure you mark the lights so you don't accidentally install the wrong light. If you install a light that requires a ballast in a fixture that doesn't want, it will destroy the bulb. I'll also put all the links to these bulbs out in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. If you have ideas for videos, toss them in the comments.